All right, are you all ready? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Patch notes, woohoo! Patch notes review, 21 February. And now that you're all here, let's begin. What can I say except patch notes? Mayev, Malthiel, Thrall, Zeratul, Zulter on the Sonya. Predictions. Mayev nerf, Malthiel birth, Thrall buff, Zeratul buff, Zul birth, Tyrande buff, and Sonya nerf. These are my predictions. I did not just read these patch notes while I was on the restroom, formulating my thoughts, and trying to be more than almost uh, halfway competent at evaluating some of these changes. So I'm, I'm ready to be completely surprised at everything. Let's look at it. I'll give you the long and short of it and my initial thoughts. Keep in mind this is a preview and not a review. We haven't tested any of this out yet. What's a birth? It's enough. It's a nerf. It's enough. It's enough. It's a nerf and a buff. A like a rebirth. A birth. Okay, my F. Health reduced by a little bit. 86. That seems to be something like three and a half percent health nerf uh, just some quick maths uh three and a half percent health nerf a one second nerf on her cooldown for the invincibility which is a three quarter second invincibility fan of knives eight damage lost eight to 160 is about four and a half percent nerf maybe four and a half percent damage nerf on fan of knives uh, a 25% damage nerf on Armored Assault, or 5%, depending on how you see it. 25% uh, on the buff, 5% uh, on the total. Vengeful Knives gets a small buff, 20% buff on the damage. Post Fan of Knives, your E... No, post E, your Fan of Knives does more damage. And they think she's still a little bit too powerful, and... Her talents are mostly in healthy spots, so just all across the board, bit of a nerf. Alright. Malthiel! It will cost more mana for him to hit, to soul rip. He will get far less health from minions, but he will get more health, a third more from heroes. This makes him weaker at wave clear and solo and double laning. Weaker at wave clear and solo and double laning. Weaker at Braxis holdout. Uh, Zerg Swarm leeching while being virtually unkillable, but it balances him out a bit in team fight. Tormented Souls will be on a shorter cooldown. Now, Last Rites is probably overall the better heroic, because it's easier to apply your mark these days with the cleaving auto attack, the faster traveling Death Shroud, and the bigger Death Shroud. However, Tormented Souls has not lost its validity. Malthiel players know this, that it's still easier to consistently apply your traits even without the 10% uh, armor and even without this being the major way to apply the mark, it's still a valid heroic. It can now be used more often, but I would say last rites is still good, but keep in mind they really are both valid. Die alone was a very powerful talent, especially after the changes. It was too good, everybody knew it, it made him dominating in the solo lane, and it gets nerfed. Is it enough? I'm not sure about that. But, it's always good when it does get nerfed. And Soul Collector is the range on your Q heal. Nerf as well. And they said, he's a strong solo laner, now he will be a little bit weaker at it, and also a little bit weaker at double laning. And I think, if that's their goal, they have achieved the goal fairly well. So I would say Malthael changes so far are good, as are Maiev. From my casting in Open Division yesterday and last week, generally it seems like, at least according to Open Division, which is what I watch more than Pro Division, uh, Blaze seems to be on top. No, Maiev seems to be the best hero right now. Number one, Maiev. Number two, Blaze. Number three... Mm, is Tracer, Malfurion, Genji, Malthael, Tyrael. They're like the next five, roughly. Sometimes Abathur is higher. And that seems to be kind of like that. So the fact that Malthael gets some changes that make him a little weaker at laning, and Mayev gets some changes as well that make her a little bit weaker in general, is good. 
But what I'm really missing is Blaze nerfs. Those are not part of this patch. And he's really good right now. He can be a solo tank. He can be a double tank. He can be a solo laner. He can be part of the four man. He's good at every stage. Lots of self sustain. Good wave clear. Good merc clear. And Greymane is also very powerful right now. And Tracer. So, uh, so far I like the changes. But I'm missing nerfs to Blaze. And Tracer. And Greymane. Those three in particular. Hanzo I think right now is rank 9 maybe in the tier list. So he's not as good as he used to be. But he's still good. Genji is still good because of his kit. Even though his numbers got nerfed a bit. Um, but yeah. Blaze. Tyrael. And uh, Tracer and Greymane. They're still really strong. And I do expect that at the Western Clash... At March 2nd, those are going to be incredibly powerful. And very, very commonplace. Like, almost 100%. Uh, Thrall? Nice. Uh, this is a buff. Sometimes... Sometimes um, Chain Lightning will bounce. Sometimes it won't. Because it's out of reach. When this suddenly reaches, that adds the full damage. Before it wouldn't. You cannot quantify this in the amount of damage. Either it does damage or it doesn't. Bouncing more often on enemy heroes from a greater range is great. It helps with self-sustain, damage, dismounting, poke, whatever, whatever. It also specifically helps the Crash Lightning talent. Maybe Trash Lightning will become Crash Lightning, finally. Uh, because it was hard to stack and will now be a lot easier. Don't you think so, Logan? Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, Zero Tool is getting some buffs. Damage increase on cleave, damage increase on singularity spike, but a nerf to his damage from the follow through slash rewind heroic. And then they make void prison a bit uh, cheaper. It's not cooldown, it's just mana. So basically what they're saying is we take some of the power out of this one, adding a little bit of extra power to his base kit. This makes him better early game and it makes it more okay for him to take void prison. And like they say, the opportunity cost is less by taking Void Prison. Because a lot of good Zeras don't feel like you can take VP anymore all that easily because it takes too much damage away. So I would say if that's the goal, that's a pretty good way of going about it. I like the changes. They're good. Right? Yeah. Zul. More health and more auto attack damage. But weaker skeletons... Better bone prison, more often, but less self-sustain from laning and skeleton warriors. All these changes, even without reading developers' comments, lead you to believe that they want Zul to be less of a dual laning monkey and more relevant in teamfight. That echoes exactly what I hoped for Zul as well. It's healthier. Double laning shenanigans are not as effective at pro play per se, but they're very effective at uncoordinated ladder play. That's why you see Zul sometimes destroying random pub games, but being unpicked entirely in any form of HGC games. These changes, I think, are not enough, but they are a step in the right direction. So, fighting is better, laning is weaker. There's one exception that may make it enough. This change is actually really big. Going from a 12 to a 10 second cooldown on Bone Prison makes him a lot better in teamfight. Even more than this. This matters, but this is even bigger. This might just be worth it for pro teams, open division teams, to start trying him out. This combines well with uh, Chromie. He has good wave clear, which Chromie can sometimes lack. And Bone Prison is the easiest setup in the world. This can proc tracer recalls to be used. It can proc follow-up damage. And to have it that much more often is very valuable. So overall, it's quite good. I like it. I like the Zul changes. Uh, Taronda can 9% more often use Light of Illuminate, not counting CDR. Something like that. This is a buff to a hero that right now is not very good. So that's always applaudable. It's always uh, desired. Good change. It's not a lot. Just a little bit of a band-aid. And we'll probably not make Taronda top tier or even near top tier yet. But it makes it more forgivable to pick her in ranked. And of course, as always, any hero in the roster can work. 
if you play it proficiently and your opponents are not used to it. This is why sometimes heroes that don't get used much and then get played by someone who's proficient at them, for example, the Chen main that sometimes in some of my games, Dexan, I believe is his name, can have a high win rate on that hero. Sonia. Sonia had received a set of nerfs recently that got reverted by accident, maybe due to a version disparity when they uploaded some of the data for the patch. This has been restored again. So those nerfs of the damage on the poison spear and the auto attack, and also the stone skin variant, uh, all got implemented once again. Now, recently, Sonia hasn't seen that much play. The, the heroes that have replaced Sonia in the solo lane, the role that she has in the meta, are Blaze and Malthiel. And since Sonia got nerfed again, I think Blaze, even more than before, and Malthiel, even more than before, are the two number one solo laners. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's no bans on them, that almost all pro plays, that almost all pro games, are going to involve Blaze versus Malthiel in the solo lane, oftentimes. Yeah, Sonia had a funny developer comment. Uh, she leaped and forgot her changes, so next time bring it with her. Okay, that's funny. Um, yeah, it's, uh, that's it. So overall, I would say, okay, fine changes. Um, fine, not enough. Fine, probably not a big influence at pro play per se. This is fine and good, this is fine. This was really good and good, really good. But what I'm really, again, Blaze, Grey Main Tracer, they're a little dominant and I'd like to see a bit more variety personally. Even if Blaze and Grey Main don't have like a toxic kit or something. And there's the Haka, of course. That's true, of course. For the solo lane. Okay, that was the patch changes. And the most exciting thing, possibly, is that voice chat has been implemented. This is bugs. Where's the voice chat thing? Here. Voice communication is implemented. And we're going to try that out right now. <laughs> 